Hey guys, Sarah here from The Glitter Guy, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble this wind chime. We are using materials that came in our sub box. If you did not receive our sub box, you can still follow along and make your own wind chime. You'll just use materials that are similar. For the materials we use today, you can screenshot a whole list right here. So for this project, I used the medium viscosity resin. It did make my project a little bendy, which I actually really liked for this. Um, but you can also use a harder resin if that's the outcome you want. I measured out 30 milliliters of each side to get started, but I will list the specific measurements I used in the description of this video. For each part that I wanted, I just mixed a little bit from my cup into my measuring cups and then I used whichever color I wanted to put in there. For each one of my sections, I did use the rainbow alcohol ink. I pretty much put that in everything I do. The two rings that you see here that already have epoxy in them are going to be your top parts. This part that I poured last is actually going to be at the very bottom of your wind chime, if that changes the way you make your designs. I did use the measuring cup to individually measure out each piece is because I knew how much epoxy I wanted to use in each section so it was easier to do this to add colors to them and not have too much or too little. A little bit of alcohol spritzed on the top to take care of some of your micro bubbles. So the instructions that came with this was a little complicated, but basically you're going to start with five equal cut strings and you're going to pass them through the holes like I'm doing here and gather them all at the top. It comes with little silver fasteners, so what you see me doing is trying to get all of the strings through the tiny little bead. It is possible. And then we're gonna squeeze it shut with a pair of needle nose pliers. So for this one, you're gonna need one really long string that's gonna go through the center and you're going to want that one pretty long, basically the length uh, you want this whole wind chime to be. And then two equal cut strings that you're going to also tie into the top here. The two equal cut strings you're going to do similar to the step one that we just did. And then you're going to gather them all at the top, stick them through that little bead and clamp it shut. This is the wind chimes. So I took three strings and I cut them sort of equal. I wanted them to dangle at different lengths so they're kind of a little off from each other. And I'm just looping them around through the holes that are left in the smaller circle disc. That will make more sense when you start lacing them through. You'll see six holes that you do not have strings in yet. And I'm just making an oval loop. I'm taking the little silver fastener and I'm clamping them shut. So this is the bead that's gonna hit your little chimes. You're going to lace it up onto your string and pull the other end of the string right around the same initial hole and keep doing that four times 
So you're winding it around the bead. So this part was a little tricky. So you already have these separate, separately fastened, but we need to fasten them together. The easiest way that I've found to do it is I put the small circle on the table, I put the larger circle over top of it, and I pulled the strings through, and I put them on separate sides. I cut right underneath the fastener, so now all my strings are loose. You're gonna put them together so that all your ends meet up, and you're gonna have to stick all of those string ends through another small bead. This does seem impossible, but it is possible. You just, you gotta keep going at it. And then squeeze it closed. This part was tedious, but very easy. So you're just going to take your embellishment, which is, we got that from the palette mold, and I found it easier to put the tiny little fastener on first. You're gonna keep it to the bottom end of the string and then take that same small end of the string, put it through the hole on the embellishment and then around and back up through the hole. You're just making sure that you have a loop around your embellishment and then clamp it closed. Take your bead, you're gonna do the same thing you did with that other medium bead, but this is all at the length that you want it at. This is just for decoration. So loop it back around and pull it tight. You're gonna do this for all of them. And here's all my embellishments. Now you're going to basically do the same thing we did to loop the embellishments onto the string in the first place, but we're gonna do it to the big blue ring. Again, I found it easier to put the little silver bead fastener on first, and then I looped it around, looped it back through the bead, and fastened it shut. And there we have it. Now we're going to put our top one on. This was actually pretty easy. Do not take that little clamp off. Just stick all of those strings through the end of the butterfly. Take another uh, silver fastener and get it onto all the strings on the other side. Clamp it closed and that's gonna keep it on your butterfly. And here's the other circle disc at the bottom. And this is gonna be done the same way the other embellishments were. And this is the last step. So I know this project was a little confusing. If you guys are confused at any parts, drop comments down below and I will make sure to get back to them. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos. And I hope you guys had a great time.